Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings and it's Mental Health Monday. I am so sorry I have not made a video since I got my vaccine, my second shot. Um, but I'm feeling okay. I'm still here y'all. Um, I start out Mental Health Monday. How's everyone doing mentally, physically? I hope you guys are at least, um, sorry, at least uh, managing to keep your head above water. I was going to do this in the complete dark because I'm afraid my eyes are puffy. I just had counseling and I cried a lot, but maybe I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, as far as my vaccine went, for those that are afraid, because I had to have some reassuring and not everybody's the same, it's true. But as for me, I was real worried because my doctor did say I could end up with a really bad flare, but that she still wanted me to get it. And I thought, well, you know what? I've had bad flares, so let's let's just do this. That first day, I didn't feel bad. You saw me at, right after the shot, and I st I we did some shopping. You saw me that evening. I was feeling tired and kind of, uh, but I still thought, well, if this is the worst it gets, I'm fine. And then the next day, I was very tired and I ached everywhere. Kind of like a mild flu, I guess. Like I wasn't vomiting. I wasn't sick, sick. I just, just a achy, tired. And then the next day, Saturday, I woke up feeling pretty good. And I wanted to go to the family fun day here in Clovis. The zoo is free that day. And we didn't get to have one last year. You know, we didn't get to do anything. And so I was excited and I thought, well, I'll wear my mask. We can go to the zoo. We'll be outside in the fresh air. So that'll be a good thing. But I was still feeling kind of yucky. And I thought, am I going to be able to make it all the way through the zoo? And not just that, I'm literally going to have to slather the sunscreen on, wear a big sun hat. I don't want to end up with a really bad rash. So I was like, if I felt better, it would be worth doing all that. But the fact I, I don't feel very good and then I've got to add clothing, nah, I'm good. And it was very sunny that day, that morning at least. And then I'm glad I didn't because I think it would have been too early to get out and about because that evening, that night, I laid down and every joint in my body hurt and it felt like they were on fire. And I thought, well, that's weird. How do you feel better and then worse again? Which, you know, anyone who has fibromyalgia and stuff related to like that, lupus, arthritis, knows that you can have like, oh, I feel great this morning. And an hour later be, oh, Lucy's come to say hi. Um, be, you know, out, <laughs> like out of commission. So anyway, so yeah, that night I kind of, but then that night. Yesterday morning, y'all, I felt great. I was tired, so I just took it easy and I crocheted and did a little planting and I didn't do a whole lot, but I did get up and I stayed awake the whole day thinking, okay, I'll be able to sleep tonight. That doesn't work that way for me, but I was hoping um, after everything my body had been, you know, it's been working hard. So, you know, getting the vaccine. Now I will tell you that your right arm is going to hurt off. I didn't crochet until yesterday. Like, because usually if I don't feel well, ooh, I got cat hair, I'll quit petting her. Usually, um, I, I, if I don't feel good, the one thing I, I'll sit up in my bed or something and crochet. Well, my arm hurt too bad. And because I had gotten it in my left arm the first time, I got it. They said I needed it in the right arm this time, the second time. Sorry, her cat butt. Um, so, uh. Yeah, and so I wish I would have known that because it hurt worse. This, the second shot hurt worse. And so, yeah, I would have done vice versa. I would have done right the first time and left the second time because I probably could have still crocheted some. Anyway, that's not all what you want to know. But So I'm feeling better. Emotional is all get out for whatever reason, but, you know, that's I'm bipolar, so that happens for no reason sometimes. Um. I did not sleep well today, and so I will crash sometime today. Or, I mean, I didn't sleep good last night, and so I will crash sometime today, I'm sure. But right now, I'm, I'm awake. I had a good cry during counseling. Some stuff from the past came up, and um, yeah, I had a really good cry. 
do you guys have a past that haunts you? And I'm not, okay, no one wants to remember the time they got drunk and did such and such, uh, but I'm not talking about just that. Like some decisions that led to some really bad things. Yeah, that's kind of where I was today, so. I don't know why, except for that some stuff from my past has been popping up in my dreams. <sighs> Thanks a lot, memory. I forget, I forget stuff that happened yesterday. And then stuff that I don't want to remember from the past pops up out of nowhere. Decides, well, that's what we're going to think about tonight instead of sleeping. Yay. Yep, I'm drinking Diet Pepsi. Um... I live on, I survive, I'm going to get me a mug. I'm going to make me a mug that says I survive on caffeine and naps because that's the truth. Also, my daughter drew me a logo. I think I told you all about that. And I've got to show you all that sometime and get your opinions. But, so maybe that's what we should talk about today. Excuse me. Is it you should forgive your past self for making stupid mistakes? Because... We really focus on forgiving others. Like we talk about, you got to forgive others or, and really honestly, forgiveness is for you, not them. Some people do deserve forgiveness, but it's not going to affect them the way it's going to affect you. If you don't, excuse me, regardless of what they've done, if you don't just forget and move on, I'm not saying you even got to let them back in your life, but if you don't just like, well, it happened, you know what? I wish you well hasta la vista and you don't ha harbor bad feelings towards them or if you keep harboring bad feelings towards them it eats away at you not them because especially if you don't say it out loud and you don't come in contact with them they move on with their life most of the time and have no idea well i mean they might know but they don't care that they affected you negatively okay but we focus on forgiving other people and that is important but we need to forgive ourselves. There are so many things I did before I was diagnosed bipolar or even, oh, it was, I've had a long bipolar road. There's so many things that I think back on and think I should have not made that decision. I shouldn't have gone down that road. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Well, you really screwed that one up. You know, you get the idea. Yeah. So, um, forgiving ourselves is very important. Even if you're not mentally, if you, even if you don't have a mental illness, you should forgive yourself because, you know, it's not just mentally ill people who make poor decisions. We are not perfect. We are human. But when you're mentally ill, at least in my case, I know that I beat my, my, I had a caseworker once mental health caseworker that told me that I was harder on myself than anyone she ever knew because I, I felt like a failure partly because of the failures that had come, had been so I had so many in my past and then I felt like I was failing as a mom and just a whole lot of stuff. And apparently I'm still working on forgiving myself because I had a good cry today about some things that I guess I haven't forgiven myself for yet. Hmm. It's good sometimes to take a mental count of things in your head that still bother you. And my counseling helps me do that because we started out talking about people hoarding gasoline and how I was going to start selling baggies of gasoline to get ahead of it, you know, because... If I'd have been prepared for the toilet paper shortage, I'd have been raking in the dough. Anyway, I was joking, but um, trying to make a joke out of a, people are crazy, a situation. And somehow that led, now usually I, I do throw my dark humor in everywhere, but somehow that led to talking about my past. And some things that still haunt me. Yeah, so if you are open to going to a counselor, 
I highly recommend it because there are times when I don't realize something is still eating away at my brain, my subconscious, whatever it is. And then talking to my counselor, it eventually can be way down the road from where my our, our session started. And, um, I, uh, I end up talking about it. Hence I had a good cry. Neva still needs to forgive herself for a lot of things. Messed up bad, y'all. A lot in my life. And at least I can admit that now. Like, there's some things I don't talk to y'all about because that's too personal. Um, and it doesn't just involve me. But, um, yeah. My counselor keeps saying I need to forgive myself. And I probably do. Anyway, I've been very emotional lately. Has anyone else? I don't know if it's the moon or what. I don't know what's going on. Universe, whatever. I, or maybe it's just my friend passing and it's one of those waves where it's really becoming real. Because I did have a good cry about her the other night. Like, just out of nowhere, I just realized how much I was going to miss her. Sorry, I did not come on here to cry. I thought I it was all cried out during counseling. I am so sorry. I do want to encourage you to forgive yourself. And that if there are things in your past that you have not dealt with, whether it be forgiving others for something really bad they did to you. I'm not saying that they deserve to not have consequences to their actions. They do. But sometimes there is never going to be those consequences. And if you keep wishing ill on them, and I speak from for, for from experience, couldn't think of that word, y'all. Um, it eats away at you. They go around in the world just I have a I have a lot of narcissists in my past. And do you think that Anything they ever did to me or the bad feelings I have towards them, phase them, even one minute out of a day, no. Unless they've come to a come to Jesus meeting kind of thing, they do not care what they've done to me. They don't care if they're the reason I flinch when someone, you know, gets up too fast or raises their voice. They don't care that they have given me nightmares. They, they don't. They don't care. But me, I've decided I don't wish bad on them. Now, am I going to say that I hope they have a wonderful, healthy, prosperous life? I can't say I've gotten there yet, but I don't wish bad. Like, I don't, I used to wish really bad on some people. Um, and it's okay to feel that way because that's our, that's like a defense mechanism. Like, you know, they did bad to you or someone you love and you want to do bad to them too. But, um, in the long run that those thoughts just eat away at you, it, they're not hurting them at all. Unless you act on them and then you're the one that's going to get punished. So probably not a good idea unless you're okay with going to prison. And then I guess do your thing. There was a time I was willing to go to prison. I'm not going to lie, but that's in the past. Uh, sorry. I don't know if that's, I hope y'all don't mind. Apparently I'm continuing my counseling session, but I really do want to stress to y'all to try to work on forgiving yourself, whether it be you need to go to counseling to find the way to forgive yourself and work through things you've done. You need to forgive other people, but that's not what this is about today. This is about forgiving yourself because you are your worst critic most of the time. And we are harder on ourselves than we are on anyone else. And if you keep the stuff from your past, letting it beat you up in the present, you're not going to be okay. You're not. And you're not going to be okay for those people who need you and love you and accept you for you. So that's my advice for today. Like I've told y'all, I'm not a professional. This is speaking from my personal, I, I know what ne is needed and you know, what professionals have told me that for a long time I didn't listen to. I was like, forgive myself. What are you talking about? 
what do I have to forgive myself for? No, <laughs> there was a lot I needed to forgive myself for. I needed to forgive some people. That was another thing. I was one of these people like, there's no way I could ever, what are you talking about? Why would you forgive someone that did something bad to you? Well, that's because it makes it better for you, not because it makes it better for them. They could give a crap less if you forgive them or not. So apparently today's lesson, children, is about forgiveness. For you and for me. There you go. Forgive. You don't have don't, forgive, but don't forget. That's that's my motto. Forgive, but don't forget. Like people that you still have in your life that you love. Yeah, forgive them. And most time I kind of do forget, like if we've been on the outs, unless something happens again, the same scenario, I forget because I love them. But there are some people I keep out of my life because it's better for me to remember that they did wrong to me because that's safer for me. Because people can kill you emotionally. They can put you in a dark place where you don't want to be here anymore. And so those people, you can just say, eh, it's whatever. I don't wish bad on you, but you don't have to let them in your life. Well, unfortunately, you don't have that choice with yourself. You have to be with you. And so forgive yourself. You'll never forget those decisions, they, but they should fade. And I say should because mine haven't. But I am working on forgiving myself. So there is that. So um, my song for today is Unwell by, I think it's Matchbox 20. The song is Unwell. The words are, I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. That's one of my favorite songs, y'all. That's my motto. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. Um, if you've never heard the song, listen to it. Um, it doesn't sound like a sad song and probably to most people or to people who've not ever dealt with really dark times it's not but if you listen to the words and you're someone who has it's so true of dealing with mental illness so highly recommend listening to it it will be added to my manic shuffle playlist on youtube that i have in my playlists and I will get back to you guys because I owe you a lot of videos. I keep saying that, and I do. And from now on, I think I'll upload a video and just have them for the, like, so I'm not bombarding you with like a million videos in one day. That way, the days that I don't put out a video, a video still comes out. So if you see videos from day to day that have the same shirt on, don't think that I wore it every day. It's that I recorded it the day before and I had it set up to be released the next day. So that is what I'm seriously contemplating. So there you go. Um, thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy what you see. I'm not all about crochet. I'm not all about mental illness. Part of the whole connecting the crochet and mental illness is because... Um, when I crochet something and especially when it's for someone else and it brings them happiness, it helps me if, especially if I'm feeling kind of low, I also garden and it's time for a garden update. Y'all wait till y'all see some of them plant babies. I go out every morning to check on them. Some birds have been messing with a few of my plants and I'm, I'm scared. It's my favorite bird. I have a blue jay that comes to my yard he can eat all my plants. That's my favorite bird. But if it's those little black suckers, I ain't going to harm them, but they got to go. I, I don't care if I ever see another one. And so therefore they need to eat my plants and all. But, um, and then in the evening I walk out and I tell them what an amazing job they've done that day growing. I know I'm weird, but gardening is also very good for your mental health. Gets me out of the house twice a day. Those days that I didn't feel good, I still made myself walk around the yard and get some fresh air before I laid back down. So, and that's partly because I, the, my motivation was to go see how my plant babies were doing. So yeah, that's another thing my channel is about. Other uh, crafting, which I've still not learned how to knit, but that's on the agenda along with cross stitch. And who knows what else my bipolar mind 
decides that I need to try to do. Um, I do have a whip uh, that I'm working on currently right now, and it's the shrug, the modern granny shrug that I made. A lady, I don't know if I told you guys, but a lady at Walmart stopped me and said, said she loved it. I said, oh, well, I made it. And she said, well, you should sell some. I was like, well, really? And she was like, yeah, I would buy one. And so she wanted one of the same colors and everything. So that's what I'm working on with the happy yarn. So it's got to make me happy, right? And it's good that I'm starting to get some um, orders again because we are thinking of buying a not not new but new to us vehicle because we need a better running vehicle to go on a trip that hopefully I'll be able to start telling y'all about soon because I might get to meet up with some fellow YouTubers. Woo! And um, we needed a better vehicle because the one we have just keeps one thing after another and we wanted something bigger. I'll explain all that in another video because this is meant to hold video and I'm getting way off track. So if you like hearing people ramble about stuff, or you're interested in mental health, which everyone should be, um, even if you don't have someone in your life that it directly impacts you, it does impact you. Even if it's that guy on the street that doesn't try to physically assault you, but you try to avoid them because they're talking to themselves. Not everybody's dangerous that talks to themselves. I talk to myself, but it's, that's not my mental illness. That's just, I talk to myself. Um, because sometimes I'm the only one that listens, but yeah, uh, I'm still rambling. So that's what you have to accept, expect from my channel. So if you like it, great, please stay for a while and check me out and see what I'm about. If not, that's okay too. I'm not hurt. I'm not for everybody. I, it took me a long time to realize that not everybody, I didn't have, not everybody had to like me and accept me. And that I don't have to like and accept everybody. I should treat them with kindness, but I don't have to like and accept them. Like, um, which I don't. It, do you? As long as you're not an ugly, disgusting, like rude person, y'all get what I'm saying. Then do you? If you're not taken from other people and whatnot, just do you. There's there. Forgive yourself and do you. Those are my words of advice for today. I really am ending it now. It's at 22 minutes and then some. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. As Pin the End says. And um, I will be back with some more videos. Mwah.